thick chalet. It's sort of a Swiss look. Yeah, sure is. Beautiful. And this is just going to mirror it beautifully. Hey, you're going to put redwood on the roof, just like on the siding and everything? Yeah. Part of, one of the things you think about is uh, weight. And uh, the, the platform weighs a lot. The platform is really strong and tongue Come and groove. What in here, Tina? <laughs> it's a uh, tongue and groove two by sixes. Uh, so the screwed down. Everything is screwed into beams. Uh, so the platform's really strong and it's pretty heavy. I wanted the house to try to be lighter. So instead of two by fours, it's built mostly out of two by twos. And uh, the redwood, besides being do real well in the yeah, weather, yeah. it's lightweight. Yeah, and it's real rot resistant. That's right. right. How does it affect the tree? You've done a lot of research on this before you built it. What's the effect on the tree itself? Well, yeah, I had a, a tree, an arborist come out and look at the tree, and, and then reading the books, uh, I learned a bit about it. Um, and it doesn't hurt the tree at all. We've got some big bolts going through the tree, but the wood in the middle of a branch or the middle of a trunk is dead wood, it's right. the old wood. Right. So the only part that's living is just under the bark here. Where the xylem tubes go up and feed the nutrients. That's right. Yeah. So as long as you don't cut around there, you're, you're doing okay. okay. And you, you, you had like rubber hose around your that's chain right. and metal where you've got some wire. That's right, yeah. to protect that layer. Makes sense. Now as we go inside here, this is a great space too now. This will be your enclosed part of the structure, right? Yeah. Uh, I actually, after I built the platform, then I drew a plan of the house. And I thought, well, I want to make this house as big as I can. Then I realized the more time I spent up here, it's almost more fun to be out on the deck inside the green room, so sure. to speak. So I shrunk this back a little bit. Now, the plan that you drew, you can see this plan right now. He's got several pages, and you went through it, and you got yeah. it kind of... But once you started building it, did things change just a little bit? It did change a little bit. Uh, a little bit. The hard part was the roof. I decided I wanted to do this double gable yeah, you've roof. got valleys in it. Okay. It's really complicated, or at least it was for me. I've never built a roof like this. So that's where the model came in. Right. In order to really visualize how these roof sections fit together, I had to build a model. Well, and especially in a tree, just like this model is showing That's right. right. That's right. And... Uh, you know, building it on the ground is one thing, but up in the tree, you've got to say, well, I can't put it here because there's a branch. Well, sure. I, so it has to fit the space. Now, you have a round hole here that looks out over the mountains. Yes. Uh, What's going in here? Well, Tina used to make stained glass windows. Yeah. So uh, we're going to put a stained glass window in here that we scavenged. Is that the one we're looking house. at right now? That's the one. Oh, nice that's a nice house. one, Tina. The house we lived in before, we saved the window from our old house. and. We knew we had a reason for saving it. It must have been for there. So were you worried about him as he's climbing up this tree? <laughs> I mean, what were you thinking when he started doing well, this? Well, as I said, I thought he was joking, and then I thought he was nuts when he was talking about it and sitting up in the tree for days at a time. But as soon as he put the first plank up where I could come up and the ladder was there, I stood up here and I looked around and I said, I get it now. Yeah. I yeah. get it. It's, it's a great sense. It's a, it's a, a wonderful great feeling. feeling to be yeah, up here, and so I understand the whole thing now. So will you rig up a, a phone up here and the doorbell, or will you just come up here to hide? Um, you can do either one. Uh, you can come up here and let the phone ring and not pay attention office, to the world. Though. Yeah, this is our branch office up here. Oh, they're, they're both magicians, actually, <laughs> in, the, in the entertainment business here. That's right. And uh, so maybe this is a good place to hide and get away from sure. everybody. Good place to come up and think. You can you can bring a phone if you want. You can bring yeah. a laptop computer up here. Uh, so it can be a little office, or it can just be a great place to get away from everything. Well, out here in Pasadena, California, is a great treehouse that you guys put together. Well, thanks, and thanks for Thank having you. us. Thanks come. for coming Appreciate by. It. Thank you. you I think this structure up here, the way you did, is kind of cool.